Hi, this is Hector. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use attributed strings, which is pretty much changing the color, font, so on of a string. Um, here's the documentation for NS attributed string, which is what we'll be looking at. It pretty much says that it's a string that you can add uh, attributes to, which are things like the font and things like that, just like I said. Um, so, but the way you add them is through these constants. And it says here, in iOS, standard attribute keys are described in, in the constant section of NS Attributed String UI Kit Additions Reference. So we'll go there. And we scroll down to constants. Constants. There we go. Um, and we find all this stuff on underline style none, underline style single, all that stuff. So I'm pretty much going to show you how to use these things and I'm so I just wanted to show you where you can find them all. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, I went, I got to the documentation. There's another way you don't have to look at the one online, but you can look at this one, which you go help documentation and API reference. Okay, so let's begin. So I want to make I want to make the question number. Um, I want to make the question number an attributed string with all this funky, cool stuff going on. So the way I'll do that is I'll make a Emmet NS mutable attributed string called title, or better name question question number which equals NS mutable attributed string alloc and then we're gonna want to do init with string and it's going to be this string here so um, so now we can just go instead of doing all this jazz you can do just question number and stick that after cool okay um but we want to add attributes there are two ways to add attributes to a string you can add each one individually or you can put them all in a dictionary and add them all at once uh, the reason why you'd use add them all individually is to affect only single uh, only certain ranges in the string if you just wanted it, if you wanted it to apply it to the whole string you'd use a uh, dictionary so i'm just going to start making random ones and adding them to it um, whoops no it's not called titles in that's what i called it by a um add attribute um we'll we'll do foreground color attribute name the value you got to give it a, uh, this is the color of the of the string so we've got to give it a color the UI color red color let's say you can change to anything you want now this range thing is affects only certain the certain range of characters you specify so you say from zero to two characters that'll affect the first three characters Okay, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, now the way to get around this uh, this whole thing where you can't uh, put a label, uh, assign a attributed string to a label, is to do um, in iOS seven each label has not only a dot text it also has an, a dot attributed text, which makes life much easier. You see that will go away, and then let's have a look at what happened. So the idea is that um, from me doing it for my quizzy, you'll have to. Oh, that didn't work. What happened here? Oh, it's because I did make range zero zero. Stupid, stupid. Uh, the idea is that you will have to apply it to your own code because I'll do it for my code, but you have to apply it to your own. You see, the first three characters are red. 
So let's go crazy here and add some random stuff. That's where the fun comes in. We want the color. Let's say green color. And let's make the range. Let's make it zero to one. Let's just say that. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Uh, oh, but we. The rest of it will still be black, and that's not fun. Let's let's make it a bit better color. So I'm just enjoying myself. I hope you I hope you like this. Uh, blue color. I just make range four to six. So now we've got some funky colors. Let's see what they do. Cool. Now I got some weird colors. Sweet ass. Okay. Now um, we'll just go. Oh, I call it tiny again. Um, stroke width, yes. Um, let's do N S stroke width. So that will change how thick uh, the the. Uh, for some reason, they have to be negative values, and I never quite worked that out. I don't know why I'd never researched it. If anyone can work out the answer, they can. Tell me, and I will give them a Mars bar. No, I won't. Uh, let's add NS font. Okay, cool. Um, now, you have to make your own UI font, uh, which is... And you've got to specify the font with name. So let's say uh, I love Zapfino because it's so massive and annoying. Size, let's say 30. Um, the range, let's say, and let's make range 0 to 5. Okay, um, it's annoying. Um, what now? Actually, no, I'll just show you that for now. The development of my horrible monster of a piece of string. Wait, what? Okay, beautiful. Look at that styling. Amazing. I'm an artist. Okay, question number add attributes. NS underline style attribute name. Value uh, will go 1.0. And then, and let's make range. So you would have noticed by now, it's just me sort of demoing out all these different ways you can use attributed strings, which is it's kind of fun to make such a monster of a string. Um, and let's strike name. Um, and let's make range. Let's say four to six. Okay. Um, uh, and as kerning. Let's make some terrible kerning here. Yes. Yes. My monster, it's coming alive. Sweet. Okay, let's have a look at what that looks like. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful styling. That looks amazing. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So, I've shown you some uses of adding each of them individually. You see it only affects certain parts of the stream. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, let's just label this using... Making question number attribute string. Okay, um, now it's all nice and neat. Not really. Um, 
Now let's make the score. Yeah, let, let's change the score around. Let's bring him out here. Put that there. Okay, now making score attributed string. So you make an NS dictionary. Um, and this will store each of your attributes. At, 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 actually, no, let's just do adders. adders. No, that'll be enough. Everyone can understand that. I hope. Um, NS, uh, let's just say foreground. Oh, it's lovely. Um, let's say UI. Now, um, you don't specify a. You don't specify a range because uh, this having it in a dictionary like this will apply it to everything. So this applies to everything. So if it's much easier to do this because it makes it look much nicer, and um, you don't have to do every little, every single little one in a in its own line. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, NS can attribute name. Uh, let's make it all very squashed up. Yes, that's very good. Um, NS oblique. Yes. Oh, what does that do? I can't, I can't remember. Let, let's see what that does. Um, NS. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what kerning is exactly, it's pretty much the spacing between le letters. So, um, and sometimes for generally, you want to have them overlapping. If 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 you have a letter like a uh, what's a good letter like a B and a F, you want the F to overhang the B just by a little bit, just so it squashes up a bit, and that's why that. Kerning is why um, fonts with code look so much different to usual fonts because um, code fonts are always the same. Each character in code fonts are always the same size, so it looks a bit looks a bit weird to us. Okay, so and I can't remember what oblique uh, bleakness does, uh, makes it slant. Background color will change the background color, obviously, uh, and the baseline will uh, set the height of the text above where it really should be. And you can make that negative and whatever you want. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, forgot to. I've got to make it NS mutable attributed attributed string. Score, score equals NS mutable array. This is quite boring. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Alec. Um. Init with string, and you want to. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh yeah, attributes should be uh, score adders, obviously. Yes, oh, of course. Um, yeah. Let's just make that look a bit better. Okay, good. Okay, now this can be score, and we'll have no unused variables. Hopefully. There we go. Good. Everybody is happy. Oh no, no. Oh, you see, I forgot, I forgot the classic. Uh, no, not really classic, but you know, blunder that it should be attributed text, not otherwise. Okay. No. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um. Look at that design. It's just. 
admire it for a bit. Anyway, um, that's how you do use attributed strings. I hope you enjoyed this demo. I wouldn't blame you for doing it two times. So yeah.